Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a look at Transistor. Uh, I have played this game before as well, so I do sort of know what to expect. I know you play as a cute girl, which is an improvement over Bastion where you don't. So that's great. Um, it's very appealing to me as a, as a cute girl. <laughs> so uh, let's give it a shot. This one I think is, I'd say it's a bit more a traditional, no, not really. It's got it's got like a turn-based mechanic, which makes it a bit more like a regular RPG. But it's it's sort of more of a like a, a tactical strategy sort of game, kind of like a Fire Emblem almost, or Advance Wars, a game like that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll, you'll see what I mean when we start it up. Supergiant Games Transistor. Uh, this game is newer. It came out after Bastion, I think, a couple of years later. I don't remember exactly. Uh... But yeah, it's from the same developers. Um, and there's a lot of similarities between the two games. In terms of, like, style and stuff. This one is, like, cyberpunk instead of... I guess, I guess Bastion's kind of steampunk. There's clockwork and stuff. There's no whole lot of steam, though. I'm not sure what I'd call it. I don't know, this, this this one's a lot more cyberpunk though. Uh so yeah, that, that girl there in the in the um hey, Red. We're not gonna get away with this, are we? That girl's the protagonist and she has a talking sword. Come on, pull. And we just killed that guy. There. Together again. Sort of. So yeah, uh we're playing as this girl, uh She's, I think, mute. She can, she can sing, but she doesn't really have a voice apart from that. Uh, but her sword does most of the talking for her. Uh, I can't actually remap these controls. It's just telling me what they are. I don't think it matters too much. This game is pretty much well designed for this sort of system. Uh, you've got save slots here, like in the other game. Okay, so yeah, we've got our sword here. We can do little attacks with it if we want. Uh, we can charge up more powerful attacks like that if we want to. Uh, we can look at stuff. What a night. You're still in one piece. That's all that matters. So yeah, we've killed whoever this is. I don't remember who it is. Now uh, we're supposed to go that way, but I'm gonna head back here and see if there's anything interesting. There's a little computer system here, but we can't interact with it as far as I can tell. Yeah, I can't do anything with all that. We'll figure something out. Uh, you can move with the D-pad if you want. Uh, again, you can move, I think, in more than eight directions. So you might want to use an analog, but it doesn't really matter too much. Yikes. Found us already. They want you back, I bet. Okay, we're finding some enemies here. You can press B to use Crash, which is just our basic attack. Okay, so A, A button for Breach, which is a more powerful attack. That one there. Breakpoint. Just... So you can see it's very technological. Okay, so turn initiated here. This is what you do for more complicated battles. It goes into sort of a turn-based strategy kind of mode. Uh, you can see it's using up my bar there at the top. Uh, there is a way to rewind that, but I forget how. And you can plan which attack you want to use, like this. And that uses up a certain amount of your time. There we go, and then you press ZR when you're ready, and it'll run what you've just planned, basically. And you can see that lets you move a lot faster than you otherwise could. So it's very useful. Okay. Cool. Clear. 
So yeah, you get the idea. Um, and that's pretty much the game. It's it's not that complicated. Uh, we will get some more moves and stuff. You can see down the bottom there I have B, A, Y, and X, but Y and X aren't set to do anything yet. I'll learn some extra skills that I can use to do some more stuff. Uh, if we go to the breakpoint here, we can slam our way hey through that there. door. Hello, world. <laughs> get it? That's Look a computer thing. That. Yeah, there is a button you can use. I don't know if I have access to it yet. But there's a button you can press to make her sing. And it's useful for certain things. Uh, here's a telescope. Which we can use. The this is moving set. by itself. I'm not pressing any buttons. Still it just gives you a bit of a cutscene. Better get as far from there as possible. Here's the promenade. We have to take 36 stairs down. I kind of like all the little details the game gives you about stuff. Here we go. Okay, we want to use turn so that we can get over here and deal with these enemies. There we go, that'll do. So you can see when you're doing a turn, you move much faster than you would otherwise. So you do really need to use one in, in decent combat for things to work properly. Good. There we go. And yeah, you level up like in Bastion, you have like experience and stuff. Hi. You okay? I see. Sure. She I think we're talking to that cube there? Yeah. We can use her. We've, we've just saved her into our sword and that's given us an extra move. Why button to use spark? No. You can see that's good stuff. Okay, so Lillian's in our sword now. Over here we can look at the terminal to get some Wish it was raining. interesting information try. about various stuff. Rain's not even on the pallet. <laughs> Where were we? Watch out. Okay, you actually hold down the A button like this, you can carefully aim your attack, which is good. Uh... Gross. Takes a little while to charge back up, but once you got it charged, you can do some pretty decent damage again. Go. Process terminated. Yeah. I think you heal back to full health every time you finish a battle, so you don't have to worry too much about that. There isn't a way to heal in the middle of combat like there is in Bastion, though. So there's some, that is something to be careful about. Uh, so there's Lillian. There's another terminal. Cloud bank fashion week not happening, huh? Three days this time. Maybe next year. <laughs> You're gonna wanna reschedule. I'm probably gonna disrupt that and ruin everything, so that's pretty I'll cool. So your main resource in this game is like time. It's you. It's me. Oh yeah, it is me. I'm so sorry, Red. They took your voice. I couldn't stop them. Well, we took something of theirs. Hey, let's just go. Yeah, she does. She has her voice taken. She teleports around, I forgot about that.
trick us. Yeah, I don't remember how this works. Um There we go. Yeah, in this mode you can actually just hit ZL to undo what you did if you don't want to do it, which is handy. There we go. Process terminated. Yeah. I think I know a place we could get a ride. Oh, I remember this. Um, to activate these, you've got to go into turn mode so you can hit them both at once, basically. Because in turn mode, you move so much faster. Okay, yeah, what I just said, but do it better, basically. Press the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that gives us jaunt, which lets us zoom around real quick, like that. Handy move to have. Oh no. Cut off our escape. Okay, this is a mini boss of some kind. Come on, that tough guy. That's a good start. That's one way to do it. So yeah, Jaunt gives us a bit of a dodge roll sort of move because we can zap our way away from stuff real quick. There we go, easy peasy. We just leveled up. Hey. Okay, so you can see we get one more skill when we do that. Uh, I think bounce is a good choice. Okay, so the way you change what you have equipped, you have to find one of these access points, and then you can go in and choose the stuff you want to do and drop it into various slots. You can see I can drop it onto one of these different moves. Make Crash Chain to multiple targets, or Breach, or Spark, Ricochet from its point of encounter and secondary impact. Uh, Jaunt gets a cooler, fast, faster cooldown, but it teleports a shorter distance. Doesn't sound ideal. Um, let's put it on Crash. Uh, that memory, that bar on the side there is how much memory we have total, so we have to be careful with that. Uh, we can swap the actual attacks we have and equip things like Bounce as our default attack, but we're using it as an upgrade right now. So you can see all of these things can be used to upgrade stuff, which is pretty handy. Uh, accidentally uninstalled Spark there, so I'm just going to put it back in. There we go. I could make it an upgrade to something else instead, uh, which would make it split and subdivide most functions for greater results, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I'm going to leave it like Good. that for now. Just one so more. yeah. Um, so yeah, you've got four basic moves and you've got a whole bunch of upgrade slots. It's pretty neat. Uh, let's head over here to the breakpoint. Okay, there's a... Wait. Back there's a bunch of programming terms and stuff in here which I really like. 
Okay. Process upgrade. Designation jerk, level two. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Jaunt can get you pretty much anywhere you want to go, like this, and then you can just go... The spam crashes like this, for example. Okay, let's jaunt our way to behind the snow. Let me just think. Let's just walk over here a little bit, and then I can... That'll do. Take out those guys with the breach. Here he grabs more backstones. Okay, let's jaunt over behind this guy. And then breach. Uh, dang it. Jaunt to... Let's try... More over there, maybe? Yes. And grab both those cells. So yeah, you can see it's it's basically a turn-based sort of strategy combat game because of this turn mechanic, which I think is really neat. Since you can still like play the game without doing this for the most part. The reason I'm not jaunting far enough, like through that guy. Oh, I can see I can see my line there. Okay, that's why it's not working. <laughs> Do. Stab, stab, stab. I'm gonna grab the cell before it. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, backstabbing is a pretty important part of this game, as you might expect, because it's so easy to just pause the time and run behind people. <laughs> Yeah, look at the block. It's very corrupted. Yeah, good call. That's our way out. Bike, come closer. Condition like new. Oh, that's cute. Okay. East 64 on ramp. Five blocks down. Take the second right. Do not turn left. Man, thanks for the lift. You're welcome, sword. I don't remember if this game has a hub like Bastion does. We'll see. Hi. You turn left. Thought we were gonna skip town. Well, we didn't skip there. town. We got revenge. We gotta take him down ourselves. Look, whatever you're thinking. Do me a favor. Don't let me go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this game has a hub. I think it's just basically a continuous thing. They beat us here. Yep. Stronger than the last ones.
<laughs> so yeah, after every battle you get healed, which is why there's no healing mid-battle. You just gotta plan things out carefully. Not a soul. Hardly recognize this place without the foot traffic. Junks and jams? What's, what is it? <laughs> is it like a bar or can't tell. Ah, oh, to flourish. Fertile ground. Oh yeah. So it look like it's kinda of like a taunt mechanic. Just this little dance sort of thing with a sword. It's pretty cute. Doesn't actually do anything, but it's cute. And yeah, you press L to sing. Which you can still do without a voice, which is a little confusing. But alright. I, I would kind of kind of thought that those things sort of went together, being able to talk and being able to sing, but you know. Must be starving. Sea monsters really the only choice here. Yeah, let's get let's get a sea monster. So Junction Jans is a food place. Okay. Yes. Just have to get back to your place before it gets cold. They're hungry too. Oh no! I was hungry. Rude. So yeah, Crash actually makes them vulnerable, so you can use Breach and then it'll do more damage. It's pretty handy. Flatbread. I wanted a seafood flatbread. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never seen gold walk cleared out. There's another access point, so we can adjust our functions around if we want to. I don't think there's anything worth doing. Oh, there's some updates available. Hang on. Preston Moyle. Guess he went out joyriding oh. and never came back. Okay, so as you use it, you find out more about the person who's been scanned. I see. Lillian Platt used to run the OPC. Said she left for personal reasons. So yeah, all of our programs are people. You've reached the hopefully not permanent address of Mr. Nobody. Yeah, we don't know who that is yet. We'll, f we'll find out as we play, I believe. You got on the camera on a short list. And there's me. Just a name to them now. There's Red. Really interesting music to this. She's very cute. So it's like two non-traditional disciplines. Citing personal reasons. Her work spoke for itself. She never had music intent to stir controversy. Really now? Yeah, and that's our crash move. That there's Breach. I think Breach is the guy who's in the sword talking right now, but I'm I'm not sure. I forget the details. It's Nyla. Everybody said she split after Goldwalk Channel opened up. Oh, she's precious. No cue to get in. That's a first. Yay. Okay. Okay, there's uh enemies everywhere. Back for more. Are these things don't need to kill the weeds first or are they not the weeds? It says they heal as weeds heal process, but I can't see anything call the weed on the screen, so I'm a little confused.
should really hit those in the same. Maybe I'm just staying in the wrong direction. Uh, almost, yeah, there we go. Let's go. Grab the cells, 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 grab the cells. Whew. So we can just go have a look around like this and then just rewind when we change our mind and decide to actually do something real, which is cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, it looks like it looks like damaging other stuff is actually hurting the main guy as well, so let's keep doing that. Oh, I meant to use a crash like that. And then combo it like that. Yeah, there we go. Should be okay now. Victory! Level up. <laughs> That'll give us some new functions. We can pick one of these. Uh, let's see. You can either have a volatile packet, a uh, strike packet to produce a large blast. So basically you can create explosive barrels, which is kind of cool. Or we can boost the effect of most functions. Switch hypnotic double crossing, alter a target's allegiance, causing it to serve the user, or integrate allegiance altering subroutine into most functions. Uh, I like the idea of switch. That sounds good. So yeah, as a as a you know computer programmer, I really really like this game's aesthetic. <laughs> Since yeah, it's just computer stuff. I am a huge nerd. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Let's put this switch upgrade into breach. Yeah, let's put it into breach. There we go. So then we call breach. When we use breach, it'll turn enemies to our side, as well as zapping them, of course. They're saying everyone up and left. Nothing to see here. Admin's just towing the line. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Red's so great. <laughs> what an icon. Be more monsters out here, probably. Off. Almost there. No access point, but I don't need to sh change stuff around. That was fine the way it was. Let's flourish here because there's some nice plants we can flourish in. Trouble. Popping up like weeds. Let's jaunt over to about. Yeah. See, so these are now on my side temporarily. They're going to switch back in a second. There we go. both of them? It is. Okay. So let's do that, and then... Turn recharge is faster if you use less of it, of course. Uh... 
Probably. Pretty tough. Hold B to adjust aim. Oh yeah, from using from using cr crash here. Yeah. You hold the button that you're using. <laughs> a little confused for a second there. Uh, I'll leave now. Jaunt and then breach over here. So yeah, you get the idea of Transistor, um, and I really like it. Um, partly it's because, you know, I'm a programmer and this is my kind of nerd stuff. Oh, she's so pretty. She reminds me of Rose Quartz. I love her. So you can see I learned some stuff about her by using the thing as an upgrade. I learned more about her if I use this as an active slot, as a normal weapon instead of an upgrade. And then I think there's some third thing I can do to learn more about it. You can see there's a purple square there. I don't remember how that works. Uh, get ready to get jumped. Or okay, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> Let's stick around. I keep pressing the wrong button, I want to flourish back to the next thing instead. Okay, so we want to... Rewind. We want to join over there and take out the cheerleader. That's what they're actually called. Which is hilarious. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. If you run out of life, whether when it turns out you lose one of your functions, which is a little annoying. Um, you actually you actually die straight away, which is nice. There we go. Oh yeah, I shouldn't do the second bridge because they're actually friends after I do the first one. Let's jaunt over here. Uh, over there behind that guy. It's not working. What's happening? It should let me jaunt over there. Smash that guy, then use a breach like that. There we go. And while they're switched, they won't hurt me. And then I can wait until they're back, and then I can attack them. Excellent. So yeah, um, between turns we're waiting for a recharge. You are vulnerable, so you have to watch out for that. Uh, don't use spark. There we are. Yay! I guess we're done here. Another access point, so if you wanted to access something, you could go there. Hope you're wearing comfortable shoes. Here we are. There's another picture of me. Says 
Seven into the sword. There we go. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Okay, so young lady 2.0, that's not good. Um, Break this cheerleader. There we go. Jaunt behind her first. Boop. No, I don't, no, I don't want to use breach. I want to use crash and then breach. Because I don't want to do more damage. Yeah. Crash, crash, breach. Crash, 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 breach. There we go. <laughs> I guess she teleports. Forgot about that. It's only one enemy, so... Hmm. Still kicking, huh? Breach maybe isn't the best if it has to switch people's sides every time. Lots of these little cores, they've been upgraded. Yeah. That's okay, I can manage. I'll just jaunt to about here. Can I aim spark? Yeah. Spark all of those. Uh, and then breach that one. Heck yeah. <laughs> Good at video games. <laughs> oh gosh, I like Transistor. Oh, I like this game. I think it auto saves whenever I do anything. Let me see. Uh, 
1151? That's not the time. That's... It's like... Two hours ahead. That's, that's way, way off from what the time is. So that's really weird. <laughs> Assuming it's 24 hour time, it, it's in like a completely different time zone, which is really, really strange. Anyway, uh, I think that's probably about it for this video. Transistor is a game that I really love. Um, I haven't really put that much playtime into it, but I'm probably going to now I have it on Switch and can play it anywhere or all that sort of thing. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it plays really well on Switch. You probably notice it's got four slots. There's four face buttons. That's that's the normal way it works. It works like that on the computer as well. Um, so they haven't like changed anything. Uh, you can use the D-pad if you want. The right analog doesn't do anything at all, but that's not a problem. Uh, let me think. What have I not mentioned, if anything? There's no motion control, which is probably good because I don't really want there to be any motion control. Uh, you can go into turn just whenever you want. There's not much point because there's nothing to fight, but you can. It's an option. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, that's, that's Transistor. I like it. I would recommend playing it. Uh, you get to play as this cute girl who wears a cute outfit and carries a gigantic sword and there's all these computer jokes like there being things called access points and breakpoints and functions and subroutines and Okay, you might not enjoy that unless you're a computer programmer, but as a computer programmer, I really enjoy that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!